Hello everybody, how you doing out there? I hope you're doing great and thank you for joining me right now and clicking this video. I just wanted to share with you something that I wrote and it was based off this picture right here. Albert Einstein, he always got his finger on his head. It's like, help me understand the logic of this. Watching two hours of violence in a movie has no influence on our behavior, but a 30 second Super Bowl ad is worth $3.8 million because it will make us run out and buy a product. So I was sitting there and I was like, fuck god damn, you know, I know this stuff, you know, it's true. I'm sure you explored through the internet and read a couple books and watched some YouTube videos. You see the mind fuck that uh, corporations and the elite play on us. And I, I know I've walked away from that area of uh, getting frustrated and angry. But tonight, um, this just came out because, you know, it's honesty and it's truth. So here it is. Scattered thoughts from a ranting and raving stone monk. It all adds up. Number one. The world of advertising is a capitalistic fuck machine that produces the underlying issues that our communities face. Our leaders have invested billions in killing people and our minds, and I don't want to pull the conspiracy card to be honest, but no matter how I look at it, the elite appear to be car salesmen of Satan, masters of deception, and as Bill Hicks once said, suckers of Satan's cock. Number two. What do our world leaders do that benefit the human race? I have to ask you, can you feel the fuckery or have you compartmentalized the abuse upon the everyday people? I understand it can be pretty heavy. Think of all the shit that has happened since 1914 alone. Number three, I do wonder how long is this going to go on for? Would it be too simple or a crime against man-made laws if we could just give all people of this world food, clean water, and free electricity? I think that is the least we can do. Now, I do understand we would have to make this our goal and work towards it, but shouldn't that be the goal of this world? I think so. Number four. The fact that these assholes act oblivious to the game they play in front of us has just gotten old and annoying. You know what I mean? If you read some of the quotes from the people in power, it is clear they are heartless bastards and live in the mountains of self-denial and preservation. They must be out of touch with something that allows them to be batshit crazy fuckers, rocking a calm, psychotic state of mind. Number five. The elite have their dream, their paradise of ruins. That's pretty much number five, and I think that's clear to see. Number six, it's all a scripted show, written, directed, and produced by the people that don't give a fuck about you. So, pretty much, number seven is the solution I suggest for all of us. Number seven, so create the life you wish to see for yourself, and don't believe anything they say. It's not worth it. What have they truly done for you and me? And don't give me that propaganda bullshit. Number eight. Well, that's the number of infinity, so that stands by itself. Number nine, I do apologize for my aggressive rant, but I haven't written something like this in a while, and I guess it was due to come out. So there you have it, folks. You know, um, the dog scratching at the door. I just tried to read this quickly, and you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say.